for questions. Coach? All right, thanks you guys for coming. Um, obviously, this is not how we wanted to start. Um, the Pac-12 season, uh, definitely credit UCLA. I feel like they deserve to win the basketball game. Um, they did enough things uh, to win. Um, I appreciated you know, our effort to try and kind of hang around when we weren't playing well um, and when things weren't going our way to kind of give ourselves a chance to win. But uh, clearly, this wasn't our best basketball game. And um, you know, we're, we're disappointed in our inability to do some of the little things that we needed to do to win um, on a night when, obviously, we had a real hard time putting the ball in the basket. All right. Questions for Coach? Um, coach, I guess just had to follow that turnovers first. Um, 20. 21, 14 in the first half. Right. Um, what attributed to so much turnovers? And I think UCLA did a good job of disrupting us. I thought they put a lot of pressure, and I thought then um, that rattled us a little bit, and uh, we didn't make the best decisions against that pressure. Thought you know we try to play fast. We always want to play fast, but I thought in transition we um, got a little bit careless with the ball and maybe didn't make the right decisions of when to sco score, when to pass, when to pull it out and run something else. Um, I thought we did a better job in the second half, uh, so we only had seven, uh, but we just, I mean, we couldn't put the ball in the basket. We had 21 more shot attempts than the opponent, 30 offensive rebounds. you got to win a game when you're taking that many more shots. And obviously, um, they were able to do a better job uh, from the free throw line. They were able to do a better job from, from three, um, and their shooting percentage, well, not great, was better than ours. Um, I guess uh, to Jennifer, um, Corin Acosta had seven blocks. She was really just the th most dominant player on the post between both teams. Uh, what was what was she doing so effective that kind of neutralized much of the post play that you know the team takes pride on? Um, she just you know she was strong in the post, had her hands up, you know, contested the shots. We we didn't go around like you know to to the open areas, which was uh, baseline. And we just should have adjusted to that better and not shoot in her hands. She's, she's really tall and uh, big, and we should have adjusted to that better. Uh, yeah. Can we see this is maybe was the first real challenge to Cal's steep and, you know, the post play that, like I said, the, the team he's pride upon? Uh, I, mean, I think we've been challenged before. Rutgers had some pretty good post players. Oh, Ohio true. State had some pretty good post players. Uh, Illinois had some pretty good post players. I thought, um, obviously, you know, the way that the game was being called and the physicality of it, it was it certainly ended up being the most effective in terms of limiting, you know, our post ability to to finish around the basket. Yeah. Um, uh, at the outset, it was clear you guys wanted to get out and run uh, with the flurry of substitutions, uh, just getting on the fast break. Was that? The game plan coming into this game to maybe you know wear the players out because UCLA obviously has been dealing with strings of injuries and kind of short on players. Yeah, it's definitely our game plan, but you know, like Coach Yao says, this is what we do. So you know, as long as we change something because we're playing UCLA, we try to play fast every game. Um, that's just kind of part of our identity this year. So just get them down the floor. Sure. And uh, you know, I mean, it's obviously the first game in Pac-10 or Pac-12 now. Mm -hmm. uh, lost, but. You guys are still a talented team, and, and many people predict this team to be, you know, up there, uh, top two uh, in the conference. What do you take away from this game, and, and maybe you know, to go forward uh, for the rest of the Pac-12? Uh, what are some takeaways that you take from this game? Um, we definitely talked about the little things. Maybe you know, just always the talent is never enough thing. You know, um, that just maybe something that's kind of been biting us in the butt, just doing the little things. Um, and so this is a game that really exposed that, like. We just know, you know, we can't get away with just all the little details of things, you know, that we just have to tighten it up. And um, it's a long season, you know, we've been there before, so it's just going to be looking back and really, like, going back and paying attention to every little detail and just making sure we take care of that individually and collectively. Mm -hmm. um, Coach, um, the team had a pretty subpar uh, display at the free throw line, and it's been a concern for many of the fans that's been watching of this team throughout the season. Um, uh, can, what well, can be done to, I guess, try to not ha have this kind of performance again? Yeah, I mean, I think it's a concern for the fans. I think it's a concern for the coaches. I think it's a concern for everybody who's involved with Cal basketball. I mean, no mm -hmm. one, no one, you know, feels like it's good enough. Um, we've tried new free throw shooting drills. We've tried just shooting more. Um, I, 
you know, as much as anyone else has thought about the free throw thing, I can promise you I've thought about it more. Um, and, and at some point, I think we need to adjust to, um, you know, a physical game and an emotional game and still be able to step up and make free throws. I have confidence that we'll do that. We'll continue to make it, um, you know, a priority, which it already is. Uh, I think our players are getting an extra, even outside the ones I'm making them take and taking more. So um, it's an issue. Um, we know that in close games it's going to come back and get us, um, and it has now, uh, you know, a number of times, and uh, we know that's a priority and it's something that we need to be better with. Coach, um, just towards the end of the game, uh, Lindsey Sherbert hit some big threes uh, to kind of rally this team and, and bring them within contention. Is that an option that maybe you can, uh, going forward, you know, just having her, seeing her, you know, shoot like that, is that something that, you know, something you can work with? Absolutely. I mean, we, we uh, feel like we have uh, a number of good three-point shooters. Uh, Sherb is definitely one of them. Um, we know that with the with our inside play and with with the way that people have to double and triple team and pack it in, we need our shooters to hit shots. It's gonna um, it's gonna be a, a big separator for us. And the ability to knock down three in women's basketball. I mean, it felt like we couldn't score at all. And Sherb hits two threes, and uh, it closed the gap pretty quickly. So whether it's Sherb, Fu, Leja, um, you know, Michaela, whoever it is, we 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 have confidence that our shooters will knock down shots and. Um, and that was a lift for us um, in the second half, um, certainly. And certainly it'll open up the lanes for slashers like they should. Yeah, right. absolutely. Um, okay, so let's look out for some Saturday's game against USC. Um, will there be any changes, or what, what, is, what is the team now going into um, this USC team? We're going to show up with the same 13 players. Uh, we're still going to be wearing Cal uniforms. Uh, and that's the beauty of a, of a long conference season that, um, y you know, you have to get up and do it again. Thank goodness we're not football where you have to wait an entire week, honestly. I mean, I think um, we're excited to get out and do it again. Um, we're not trading any players. We're not coming up with a brand new offense or a brand new defense. We always make adjustments and we always scout the opponent, but we need to be a better version of Cal. We need to come out and take care of uh, the details better. Uh, we need to have a, a mentality where we understand that playing on the road in conference doesn't matter where anyone picked you. Doesn't matter, you know, what other teams are going through. You got to come out and win the basketball game. And I think that, um, you know, our team has talent and we have pieces. But I think that we have to play winning basketball. And we didn't do that tonight. And I'm looking forward to Saturday um, and the opportunity to do that again against a very talented USC team that's going to be at home and that's going to be really fired up to beat us.